Hello everybody, it's Diane. Happy Thursday morning. Sorry I missed you all yesterday morning. I, um, I actually slept in a little bit late. I really wasn't sleeping. I was in bed looking at all of the election coverage and, and reflecting and uh, internalizing all that happened and all that we will become. And I'm hopeful for the future, despite the um, election results were not exactly as I wanted them. Um, I, I it was a tough day yesterday, but in the end, I'm a pretty positive person. I'm a pretty half glass, a glass half full kind of person. So I'm looking for the silver lining and I am just, you know, looking for spreading the love and the hope and the joy that we have and hopeful that we can come together as an American people and uh, move forward. So today I don't, I'm going to get back to my miracle morning, hopefully tomorrow. I have two more letters left. Um, but today I want to share with you my gratitude, number 10, and then a quote from my daily affirmation app. Okay, so today on day number 10, I am grateful for my dogs. Um, I know it's a funny thing to be grateful for, but if you have a dog, you understand. You totally understand. Um, I'm very grateful for my dogs, uh, Hunter and Sammy are the dogs that we have right now. And of course, I'm grateful for the dogs that we no longer have with us. Uh, Maggie was our very first baby. She came before my son and she passed away last January, and Duke, who was our boxer, who unfortunately only had four short years. He died from seizures uh, last uh, two March is ago. So, you know, no matter how awful the day is going or how great the day is going, when I walk in the house, I am greeted with, with lots of kisses, and they run up to me, and they jump on me, and Hunter does this weird thing, this weird smile. Um, we call it a snarl, but it's kind of like a smile. It's really, really weird, but it's just so funny. And I could be gone for 10 minutes, or I could be gone all day, and they just give me the, the, the most love. It's like Dino from the Flintstones. It really is. So, you know, they're, they're unconditional. They, they love unconditionally. They're my snuggle buddies, and uh, I sleep with them, and it's great. Um, and, you know, they do. Dogs do love unconditionally. I think that uh, us as humans, we should take a... Uh, some advice from the dogs and and start to love unconditionally as well and get rid of some of the hate that we have here in this country and in this world. So I'm um, grateful for my doggies today. So here's my quote, which um, it was not today's quote in my daily affirmation app, but it was one of the ones that I saved and I think it's very, very appropriate for today and where we are as a nation. So instead of focusing on the world's problems, Give your attention and energy to trust, love, abundance, education, and peace. So let's focus on the things that we have control. Uh, a good a beach body friend of mine, Stephanie, she posted yesterday. She's from Canada, so she doesn't really she didn't have any control about the United States election. But um, we need to focus on what we have control on. You know, I placed my vote like I can do as an American citizen, but I really have no control than, over, than that over the election results. So what I can control is my life and my family and the thoughts that are in my head and, all, and my education and those types of things. So I am going to focus on what I have control over and what I can do locally and globally to spread love and spread kindness and to make this world a better place. All right, so I want you to think about that. Think about what you have control over and what you don't have control over. And if it is out of your realm of control, I ask you to focus on the things that you do have control over. All right, everyone, have an awesome Thursday, and I will talk to you tomorrow, hopefully. Bye.